Hey guys, what's up? It's 11.01 a.m. Sunday, January 30th, 2022. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you what I got from a few different stores, mainly Walmarts. We went to three of them yesterday. Um, first things first, I got this tote from the Barbersville Walmart. I do have the lid. It's just on the other side of the room. Um, I'm going to tell you the plan for that real quick. Uh, that green tote on top of this gray one right here i plan on using that one to pick up trash around the room and just trashing the whole damn thing because uh, it's not got a lid i mean i'm sure it does but i don't need it you know i don't need like a million totes in my room and i got one two three four five um so yeah i mean i mean the ones that have lids and stuff will get put to use obviously but still anyway um we're gonna get started also from uh Barbersville Walmart. I got this and this I'll show you. I have not seen this on the market in a while. The Vanilla Blossom and Almond Soothing 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner from Suave. And I love Suave's shampoo and conditioner. Especially the 2-in-1 unit because when I was a kid I had really frizzy hair like I do now. It was worse when I was a kid. What I would do is buy that as a shampoo and buy this conditioner and use this obviously as a conditioner like I would you know nearly I would just shampoo with that and get conditioned obviously so I'd have double conditioner in my hair and then condition with that one so yeah um what else did I get from there oh yeah I got this bag of kitty food this actually needs to go out of here this is kind of heavy but not so heavy that I can't pick it up. Like, you know, anyway. <laughs> From Ashland Walmart, I got that um, purple loofah. Oh, I'm trying to continue on with Barbersville Walmart. I got this bottle of Purex Lavender Blossom in wash scent booster crystals in wash fragrant boosters whatever and I have a bottle of uh, fabric softener that I bought downstairs it's Suavitel lavender soothing lavender whatever it is anyway yeah I got this EOS shaving cream from the Ashland Walmart I think that was the only thing I got from there. That and an ice cream cone that I dropped on the floor. But that's okay. Not here, obviously, but there. And my mom got uh, gave me one of these. I don't know if she got this from Ashland or South Point. But she gave me this. And I used Gillette. Because I'm very allergic to most women's stuff. But I use this for my legs. It makes my legs feel really smooth. And I got this little hand sanitizer holster from the Barbersville Mall. These were only a dollar fifty. I did not know that's how cheap they were. Like that's really cool. I had one exactly like this that I cannot find to save my damn life. And I bet as soon as I bought this, it magically appeared in one of these totes. Also from Barbersville Walmart, I got a Kiss T-shirt. But I don't think it'll fit me. It's a woman's 2X. And they run small. It's a Kiss 78 World Tour or 77 World Tour. Yeah, 77 World Tour t-shirt. I don't have very many Kiss shirts. So I thought, okay, I'll get that one. So it's cheap. From TJ Maxx, I got these. Because um, they're $6 and you get four of them. That's a better deal than Walmart, but I'm not saying the ones at Walmart are a bad deal, obviously, but I think it's a better deal because you get two more for about the same price of what you pay for two at Walmart. And those balance sheets came from Ashland Walmart. Oh, yeah, and this. Okay, so, if, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> if you are anything like me and my sister... Oh, yeah, and I got some photos of my kitty cats printed off. Nothing big deal. Uh, those were from Barbersville Walmart also, the photos. Anyway, if you're anything like me and my sister, and you have close together teeth, 
I'm sorry about my foot, by the way. You're going to close together teeth. You need one of these. Now, I have not used this yet, so I cannot say it's good. But I have never been able to get dental floss between my teeth. I had to go get my teeth flossed by the dentist. So, um, yeah. This came from TJ Maxx. It was, I think, yeah, $20. My sister opened it. She looked at it for me. It's got a tank on it, so I can just, like, refill it and reuse it at my own use with any toothbrush. And I have just a manual Oral-B toothbrush, so, you know, it's not a big deal. So, yeah. And my mom gave me those gloves yesterday. I'm not really crazy about wearing gloves. I got some cute earrings that are in my ears. I'll show you later. They're cubic zirconia ones, sterling silver, gold-plated. I'm allergic to sterling silver, but these are gold-plated, so these are exceptional to use. So, yeah. And I got these Rely on Alcohol Pads at South Point Walmart. They were only a dollar. No big deal. And I got that cute little ring box over there. At South Point Walmart as well. I love this. This is so pretty. And I love this color on this. I'm not normally a fan of, uh, what are those, daisies? I think. I'm not really a flower person at all, but I like those. And this was seven bucks. It's a pouch. Okay. Obviously, you can use it for rings or anything. And I got my other... I'm sorry, my other earrings in here. So I switched them out for my Cubic Zirconia ones. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to do that shampooing thing with Suave or whatever brand I was using because I had such frizzy hair. But, you know, living in the South and having frizzy hair, that is usually a thing, but there's ways to control it no matter where you live. Also, I got some cheap paper towels because I'm almost always needing paper towels, and I got pickle chips from Lay's, but those will be gone in like a week. So that's nothing big to show anyway. I love pickle chips. And I got um, Suavitel Fabric Softener in the scent Soothing Lavender or whatever it's called. It's the complete one. Personally, I don't like the complete one. I don't think it does very well as a fabric softener, but it is all they had. And all I care about is it giving me the scent I need. Like, I use I use bounce sheets in the dryer, so, you know, I have no problem with static electricity or anything like that. Like, that reduces static electricity. Every dryer sheet does, even if it specifies it does or not. And I got a candy bar. I got a Snickers bar. But it was a $1 Snickers bar that I'm going to eat. Next. I'm going to go do my makeup because I really want to. And I'm going to take this caboodle case over there because I really need to. It's got my stuff in it that I'm going to use. Well, maybe I might throw it away. Oh, yeah. And my plan. I think I told you, but I don't remember if I did. If I did, I'm sorry, but I'm telling you again. I have a plan for, for that area over there. What I'm going to do is take everything and throw it away except for what's in the shower caddy because I know what's in the shower caddy is good because I use it to take showers, you know? All of that other stuff is over a year old except for that Shea Moisture Body Wash, which is the pink bottle you've seen in front of the uh, pink thing that my caddy rests in. I'm just going to th I'm just going to throw it away because if it's a year old, it usually doesn't work. And the conditioner that I had from Suave that I have from Suave over there is actually really watery, so that tells me that it is old. And it is time to replace it. So I did yesterday. And I just happened to spot that shampoo and conditioner two in one out of the corner of my eye when I went to pick up the other the other shampoo. And I was like, Oh hell yeah. Cause uh when we go on vacation this year, that's the one I'm going to buy again because A, it's a two-in-one in case I just want to take shampoo or one bottle. B, it is uh, my favorite one. Like, it works with my hair. 
And my hair needs washed again because we were out in public yesterday. Also, the last thing I want to say is my mom finally agreed to let me get my hair cut. Let me show you the haircut we chose. We had to agree on one together. I don't understand why she had to approve of my hairstyle because it's not her head. Sorry about my foot. I like this one, but I just want it a little bit shorter. I don't want nothing resting on my shoulders, period. And I'm not really crazy about having bangs, but I realize they're going to grow back out in like literally a month. That's fine. And that girl's really pretty. I like that. I like, she's just got a really pretty face. And it looks really good on her, so it might look good on me too. My sister really liked it too. It's like everybody in my family's got to pre approve the hairstyle that I'm going to get. They're going to go to uh, Smart Style and Walmart and get it done because Smart Style, they can, where, where I live anyway, they can pretty much do any style. Because that's why they're called Smart Style. But yeah, I really like that hairstyle and I think that not only will it help me reduce the amount of products I have to use, it will also help me reduce um, the amount of times I have to wash my hair in a week. I can just wet it and style it on the daily. So yeah, I'm kind of like really stoked. I really wanted my hair cut for about six or seven years now. But my mom never wanted me to get my hair cut. Like she would was okay with me getting the dead ends trimmed off. But she was like, oh no, you are not getting your hair cut short. She said, maybe when you're an adult... And you can make decisions for yourself, but you're not doing it while you're a, a minor. And those were her exact words. And I said, well I, well, I think it should be up to me because it's my head. And she said, well, I'm sorry to say that it's not up to you. Despite the fact that it is your head. My real mom probably still wouldn't let me get this done, even though she's the one that approved of that style. She's the one who sent me that picture. I said, will you text it to me on the phone yesterday? And she said, yes, I will. But if I catch it any shorter than shoulder length, you're going to be sorry. And I said, Mom, it's going to be shorter than shoulder length. I don't want it to be so long that it touches my shoulder. I don't want any hair touching my neck this, this, I'm sorry, this summer. I'm just like excited though. This is something I wanted forever, so my stepmom, my sister, and me are all planning to get our toes done, our hair done, and I'm thinking about going for my fingernails because they could use they could use some work. And it's only ten dollars or twelve to get my fingernails done. At a local salon anyway, but it depends on where you go. And all they're gonna do is wash my hand um, wash my hands, trim them and paint them. I could probably do, I could do that here. My sister can do acrylic nails. I'm just like so excited though. I don't even want to cut off when I go to do my makeup, but I'm going to because I have some products I would like to test run again before I use them in a video. But yeah, like, I can't wait to get this done. Like, it's already for sure that I'm going to get my hair cut this Saturday. Because I already told my mom, I said, you better not back out on me on this. Because when I get paid, I mean, I can drive myself to the appointment. I know where I'm going to go. We haven't made the appointment yet. And I'm pretty sure you have to make an appointment to get your hair cut. I'm not sure if walk-ins are accepted. If they are, if they are not, then it will be Sunday. One day difference. This weekend. And a brow waxing. Those are obviously walk-in, you know. You can walk in and get your brows waxed at almost any salon for under $15. And I said almost any salon. Even the nail salon does them for $10. It's probably where I'll get them done at, because it's a little bit cheaper to get your brows done at the nail salon. Because the woman that works there... 
She did really good on my brows the last time, but my brows grow like weeds. But yeah, I'm I'm sorry guys. I can't wait to get this done. Like I wanted this for years. I wanted this ever since I lived in South Carolina. That should tell you how long I've wanted this. Like ah, I can't believe it's actually happening. I might actually do a little before video. I got my hair when it's down. Because when we ride to the salon, it's going to be down. And I'm just going to tell them, wash it, cut it, and braid it. Put some oil through it so that it's not so frizzy throughout the day or the next day or two. And then when I wash it later, obviously, you know, I will put more oil in it. Because um, I'm going to buy some BioSilk from TJ Maxx. They actually sell it there. I told my mom, I asked my mom if I could get it yesterday. And she said, honey, we... We'll get it when you get paid. And I said, okay, that's fine. But I would like to get some before I run out. And I'm not out yet, but still. I'm just so freaking excited. I can't explain how excited I am other than that. Like, my brain is, like, going crazy. It's like going, can we do it today? And me, no, we don't have the money yet. This requires money. I'll be okay with not getting my feet done, but I would like to get my toes trimmed. Or my fingernails, even. Like, I don't care about my fingernails getting done that much. I can do them myself. I bought the nail polish that I liked from the salon so that I could do it. So I took a picture of the bottle, found it online, and bought it myself. I can wash my hands here, cut them with my own fingernail clippers, and paint the nails myself. I even have a UV lamp now. That I found at TJ Maxx for $20. And it's the exact same one they use. It's just a different color. Okay. I'm sorry. This is like an extra long video. I'm just like so fucking excited about getting my hair cut. I don't get that many comments on my hair being in Dutch braids. But I got a couple of them yesterday when my uh, sister and mom and I were all out. Okay, so I better go. It's uh, 11, 19 a.m. I must have started... I think I said 11.02. I might have started 11.02. Anyway, if you're new, please subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram. All those things. Peace. Have a wonderful day. And also, if you would like to see a before video and an after video or a picture of my hair being down and then being, I'm sorry, being down long and then being down short, shorter, you better go follow me on Instagram and ask me because I will not remember probably. I'll probably be too damn excited to take a picture. <laughs> anyway, peace. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And I'm sorry, like I said, this was long. Bye.